The wasp, one of the most common and feared insects in the world. Wasps are known for their painful stings and many people are afraid of getting stung by these insects. But just how dangerous is a wasp sting and what should you do if you get stung? In this video we will be answering these questions and more but first of all let's talk about the anatomy of a wasp sting. Wasps have barbed stingers that they use to defend themselves or to capture prey. The sting is connected to a venom gland which produces a toxic substance that is injected into the skin when the wasp sting. Most people experience pain, redness and swelling when they are stung by a wasp. These symptoms can be mild to moderate in severity and they usually go away within a few hours. Speaking about the pain of a wasp sting, let me put it in the words of Justin Schmidt, a scientist who had tested a series of different insect stings in order to rate their pain. A bit crazy but Schmidt described the wasp sting as caustic and burning, distinctly bitter aftertaste like spilling a beaker of hydrochloric acid on a paper cut. Now apart from the pain, some people may experience more severe reactions such as anaphylaxis which is a life-threatening condition that can cause symptoms such as difficulty in breathing, rapid heartbeat and swelling of the face and throat. Now when a honeybee stings, the bees die quite a gruesome death. For when bee stings, it can't really pull the stinger back out. Hence, the rupture of their body generally leads to their death. Whereas unlike honeybees, individual wasps can sting repeatedly. That's because wasps don't die after stinging, as the stingers are not pulled out of their bodies. However, the part that is most terrifying is when a wasp sting, its venom releases pheromones, a secreted chemical which signals other wasps to join in the attack. Also, it might feel like at times, but wasps do not sting you without reason. When wasps attack, they almost always do so as a defense mechanism. This happens when people, sometimes even unknowingly, get too close to a nest. If you get stung by a wasp, it's important to remove the stinger as soon as possible. The longer the stinger stays in the skin, the more venom it will release into your body. You can remove the stinger by gently scraping it out with a fingernail or a credit card. After removing the stinger, you can apply a cold compress to the affected area to reduce the swelling and relieve pain. You can also take over-the-counter pain relievers such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen to help manage the discomfort. Now let's talk about hornets. They belong to the wasp family. The major difference between a regular wasp and a hornet is the size and color. Hornets are larger and their stings are also more painful to humans than typical wasp stings because of the chemicals found in hornets venom. However, if it's a hornet or a regular wasp, it's best to keep your safe distance if you see them. In conclusion, a wasp sting can be painful and could cause mild to moderate symptoms but it is usually not life threatening. However, some people may experience severe reactions such as anaphylaxis which can be life-threatening. If you get stung by a wasp, remove the stinger as soon as possible and seek medical attention if you experience severe symptoms. Hope you found this video useful. Many more amazing animals videos on this channel. Hit the subscribe button to stay tuned.